G'day cheeky dogs, my name's Margie and I'm an Australian currently living in America. And today we are going to be breaking down the Bluey season 1 episode, The Claw. This episode of Bluey is cool, The Claw. I'm going to be going through all the Easter eggs and hidden details that maybe you might have missed, as well as the theory that this whole episode is just an analogy for the gambling problem in Australia. And I'm not kidding when I say it is a really, really big problem in Australia. I missed you. But there does seem to be a bit of debate about what the lesson is here, so we are going to talk about that at the end of this video. So, did we learn anything today? No. No. So, starting off first then with our traditional Easter eggs. We do have three tennis balls in this episode. We see two in the front entrance, and then we also see another one up against the wall when the girls are playing the claw machine with Bandit. We also see the pineapple pin board and the bum of the long dog in half of the frame for this picture. So that definitely counts, I think, though, as the long dog. There are a lot of little funny, like, dog details and dog jokes in this episode as well. Everything from Bingo barking at the beginning of the episode. <laughs> Use your words, Bingo. To Bandit's line at the girls about being canines. Stop, canines! <laughs> and a possible, like, dog electric zapper reference when Bandit, like, zaps Bluey. I don't know, for me, it kind of reminded me of, like, when dogs have, like, those shock collars. But I'm not sure about that one. What do you think? <laughs> but my favourite dog reference, though, is the bread basket. At the very, very start of the episode, like, the first scene, you see their food left over. But the bread is in the shape of dog bones, which is just such a funny little detail. But first, real quick, a big thank you to today's sponsor of this video, Morgan & Morgan. Now, there are certain things that you need to do if you are ever in an accident. One, make sure that you're okay. Two, make sure that you get a police report if it's a big accident as well. Three, make sure that you contact your insurance. And four, most importantly, make sure that you get legal representation. Because if you're injured and you have no idea where to start, with Morgan & Morgan, it is so easy. They have modernized the injury law process, making it so easy to submit a claim. You can sign contracts, upload documents, and medical records, all from your cell phone. You can even text your legal team anytime throughout your case. You don't need to go to meetings. So if you are ever injured in an accident, you can check out Morgan & Morgan. You can submit a claim in eight clicks or less without ever having to leave your couch. And for more information, you can go to forthepeople.com or dial pound law. That's pound 529 from your cell phone. Okay, back to the video. Some other really cool like little details that you might have missed is that the chocolate doodads, the symbol on them, looks a lot like the ABC Australia logo as well, which is the channel that Bluey is broadcast on in Australia. We also see the purple toy cat, which of course is a reference to the Alice in Wonderland Cheshire cat. We see two pictures as well. We've seen these a few other times, but these are really nice close-up ones. One is of Bingo's third birthday, so that kind of also references the fact that she is four years old now. And then right next to it though is also a picture of a dolphin, and in my head, having those two pictures together kind of makes me think that, yeah, Bingo does love dolphins, which would explain why she loves Grey Dancer the dolphin so much. Come on, Grey Dancer. I do love that, like, the coins they use are, of course, Australian-type coins. There's a the little gold one that Bandit flicks at the start, and then the 20-cent one, which they even, like, in detail wrote 20 cents on as well. We have the reference again to Chili loving her salads and eating them. Isn't anyone going to mention the salads? Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. And then the other thing that they eat here is the Neapolitan ice cream at the very end. And for me, probably the most unrealistic part of this episode, because I remember as a child that there was no one who liked all three flavors of like chocolate, vanilla, strawberry. Realistically, you only ever really loved one or maybe two, but never all three. <laughs> More ice cream, please. Now, this episode, though, of course, is very iconic for the lines in it. And I think they're some of, like, the best lines that we've had in the show. There were two sort of specific, like, kind of references. The first one being, like, stick it to the man. Get yeah, to go, bingo. Stick it to the man. Which is very 1950s, ongoing, stick it to authority, rebellion kind of thing that Chili says. And then I do love the Terminator reference that Bandit does as well with the robot uprising. Machine uprising. Now, as I mentioned, some of the most iconic lines in this, I feel like there's so many to choose from, but these are my top five. And um, my number five would probably be Chili's, like, skepticism of Bandit. I'm watching you, Magic Claw. My number four would be Bandit's, like, robot instructions that he gives the girls. Go and get a job and earn real ones. My third one is Chili's ongoing skepticism of Bandit. Oh, here we go. Strap yourself in, kids. My second one is Chili's understanding that Bandit is going to fail. Neither of those things are happening. And then, of course, iconically, the best line of all is about being the Magic Claw and having no children. I am not dead. I am Magic Claw. Magic Claw has no children. 
His days are free and easy. I feel like this is so iconic, the fact that like it's on t-shirts, like my husband even has this on a t-shirt as well. So I feel like it's the best line in the show. But let me know in the comment section down below, what was your favorite line from this episode? Now let's get into what the exact lesson of this episode was. This is great. They're learning a lesson and we get the house clean. Neither of those things are happening. Now there's actually quite a bit of a debate on Reddit about this and a lot of people asking what was the lesson because of course we do have that kind of like cliffhanger for this episode where the girls then just go to tickle him instead. You see kids, the lesson is... Tickle him! Yeah! But I do feel like Bandit's lesson was to do with gambling. So let's talk about that and the theory that this whole episode is about the gambling problem in Australia and how to teach kids to prevent it from continuing. <laughs> And like I said, it is a really big problem. Statistically, 40% of all Australians gamble at least weekly. That is a huge amount. And when you take out like the children factor of that, of course, it becomes 80% of adults, which is just insane. Australia is ranked number one in the world for gambling problems and people who gamble, which is just nuts. And yeah, like I said, it's a really big problem, but it's also a really big part of Australian life as well. So it's not surprising then that Bluey being a Australian cartoon about Australian life would eventually bring up this topic too. And I think this is what Bandit was trying to teach the girls was the idea of gambling, how it works, but also the risks that are involved with it. Hey! What? No! And the pitfalls as well. You lose, you lose, you lose! Now he does this by making them earn actual real life money by doing chores. He said, <laughs> go and get a job. And then also not letting them win straight away. So letting them waste their money away until eventually after they've worked even more, they get a small win with winning Grey Dancer. Ba -ba -da 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 -da! Congratulations, you are a winner. Now, of course that plays into the belief that like the more you play, the better the chances that you are going to win. But then of course he wants to show the pitfalls and the risks of continuing to gamble as well. And that's of course with him enticing Bluey with an even bigger prize that she doesn't really understand or know much about. We need more coins! <sighs> Not more chores. But he entices her so much that she's willing to risk everything. She's already risked all of the money that they've earned and now she's willing to risk the prize that she's already won as well. Magic Claw will give you one coin for that dolphin toy. Okay. Bluey! Which again reflects real world gambling, where not only do you spend your own money, but any money that you win, you're willing to spend that again as well. And I believe that that's the lesson that he was trying to teach her. He was going to show her that, yeah, it's not worth risking everything you have or everything you've won just for this one possible chance of winning something that seems infinite or bottomless. <laughs> bottomless i.e. you know hundreds of thousands of dollars like that big jackpot that you might think you win if you keep on gambling. I really think Bandit was trying to teach both Bingo and Bluey that they should really just appreciate what they have and even if they maybe do gamble a little bit that they should just walk away be happy with the win that they have and not waste any more of their hard-earned money. Okay let's play something different now. Uh, and through that he's teaching them that as well the game is always rigged. Apologies valued customer the block is too heavy for claw to live or that the man, or stick it to the man as Chili said, that they're always the one in the control at the end of the day. There's always someone else who's actually winning, but it's never you. Now, of course, this definitely goes over their heads and Chili is that kind of person to sort of show us that she also thinks that this whole idea is gonna go over their heads, even though it is a really important thing to teach children as well, especially Australian children, because they're the ones that are gonna grow up to be part of that 80% if we don't try to teach them early on. <laughs> Now I do think though that Chili was also trying to teach like a slightly different lesson as well and that also falls into what a few other people were thinking was sort of the idea of this lesson too. And that's that always winning isn't fun either. It wouldn't be exciting if you won every time. And the idea that if you just get instant gratification without really working for it, it doesn't feel as rewarding as if when you would work for it a little bit. Yeah! Congratulations! Yeah! Enough toys for all! You want to play again Bluey? Uh, no thanks. It's not the same. Kind of like what we learned with the obstacle course, where like it feels better when you've actually worked for something that you want to achieve. There's only one thing you can do. Cheat! Yeah! Yeah! What? No, I meant practice! Again, I think that that's sort of like what Chili was sort of like hinting at a little bit of the idea of like, yeah, sure, here you go, everyone's won, but it doesn't really feel that great. And so she just kind of wanted to move on from it. But 
Cheeky dogs, let me know in that comment section down below though, what did you feel was the lesson of this? And did you see it as an analogy for gambling as well? I'm really interested to see, especially as like, for those of you who are Australian versus those of you who live outside of Australia, what your view is about this episode. Because yeah, as an Australian, that's how I saw it straight away. But while you're letting me know in the comment section down below, don't forget to hit that like button as well as that subscribe button and that bell for notifications so you know when any more Bluey videos come out. But until then, I have picked you cheeky dogs out a few other videos that maybe you would like to watch and I will see you all in another video. Mwah, bye!